What is up, y'all? Dylan back here. Back here with another video. In, in this video, we're going to talk about these guys right here. We're going to talk about these guys right here. These guys. Alrighty. Alright. In this video, we're going to talk about the Falcons' free agency moves. So far, so far, the Falcons could still make more. They could still make more. So. So. Now. So, I'm going to go over each move that the Falcons have made so far. And then I'm going to give my opinion of said moves. See that awesome sign. Shout out to Aaron Freeman of Locked On Falcons, who's got that same exact Falcons parking sign. And, whoa, I think I had my camera a little, I think I, I, think I had my camera a little, little, little too close my face that time. My bad, y'all. So. So. Straighten that. Oh. Now, one of the first things the Falcons did was actually a couple weeks ago. They re-signed Lorenzo Carter. Now, I now I had already talked about that in a previous video. I have already talked about that in a previous video. And so um I like the move. I like the move. I thought I thought Lorenzo Carter did some good things for the Falcons defense last year and and so I think it was a good move to bring him back. So good good there. Now now the first thing the Falcons did yesterday was re-sign right guard um, Chris Lindstrom to a five-year extension. I want to say five years, $105 million. I, th I don't remember the exact money amount, but I think it was $105 million. Good move by Terry Fontenot there. Uh, Chris Lindstrom is one of the best uh, offensive guards in the NFL. So good move by Terry Fontenot there. And then um then we re-signed fullback Keith Smith to a one-year deal. I like that move. Keith Smith is a really good blocking fullback. And so I so that I I think that was a good move there. And then we re-signed our our punter. Um to a three-year deal, you know, you gotta have a punter, even though we don't, even though we don't like seeing, um, we may not like seeing our guy, our favorite team punt a lot, but you gotta have a good punter. So, but then we get to the actual signings. We get to the actual signings. Um, uh, let's see what what they do. Oh. The Falcons traded a seventh round draft pick to the New England Patriots for tight end John, John Smith. And I really like that move because it will, it will take some pressure off Kyle Pitts. And so John Smith is not only a good is not only a good blocker, but he he, but he can also catch the balls, and he's got some good speed. Not to mention, um, John R. Smith, his best years were with the Tennessee Titans when Arthur Smith was with the Titans. Um, he was with the Patriots for the last two seasons, but he didn't. He he wasn't really a good fit in New England. He wasn't really a good fit. So, so see, 
His best years was with uh, was with the Tennessee Titans when Arthur Smith was there. And so that's a good move there. Um, for what for what I for what I've heard, uh, the Falcons are going to restructure his contract to clear up more more cap space. And so, and so that'll be good right there. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, the Falcons signed uh, defensive tackle David Oyamana from the New Orleans Saints, and he he is a really good uh, defensive tackle. He is very good against the run. He had five sacks uh, last year, and so. Um, and so he will reunite with Falcons defensive coordinator Ryan Nielsen, who was the who was with the Saints for the last seven years. He was their defensive lines coach. And I believe last season he was also the co defensive coordinator. So hang on. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that, y'all. Uh, but yeah, as as I was saying, uh, David uh, Oyamata will reunite with Falcons defensive coordinator Ryan Nielsen. So we we finally got some help to go with Grady Jarrett. He's been he's been needing that help forever, forever. <sighs> Yeah, and then, then the Falcons was able to sign their biggest free agent target, and it was a it was a and it was a player that every Falcons fan was wanting. Safety Jesse Bates from the Cincinnati Bengals, who is one of the best safeties in the whole NFL. And so the Falcons signed him to a four-year deal. I don't remember the money amount. But, yeah, I'm really happy. Really happy. I'm just about that time. When I saw, when I saw it, blah, 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 when I saw that Ian Rappaport uh, reported on Twitter and it was official, man, this was me. That was me. 
<laughs> oh, Jesse Bates. Love it. But then, but then late last night, the Falcons were not done. They were not done. They signed Caden Ellis, linebacker from the New Orleans Saints. And once I saw his stats and saw his film, man, this guy could play. In 11 starts, he had 78 tackles and 7 sacks. That's pretty de- that is pretty good right there. That is pretty good. And so we we got us a pass rushing linebacker from from what I've seen Saints fans say he was the second best pass rusher for the Saints last season. And so we got him on a 3-year deal. I mean I mean I mean this is a great move by Terry Fontenot. Great move. Great move. So, uh, all right, let's see. Well, let's go into another room. Okay. Y'all, hang on just a minute. Hang on just a minute. All right, sorry about that. I sorry about that, y'all. I apologize for the interruptions. I apologize for the interruptions, but you should shouldn't be shouldn't be any more interruptions now. Now, like I said, the Falcons signed Caden Ellis from the New Orleans Saints last night, and so yeah, so. So then the Falcons made two moves today. This morning, they signed cornerback Taylor Heineke, formerly of the Washington Commanders. And what's ex- and um, I like that move because um, the belief is he's going to be Desmond Ritter's backup. So the belief is Des- Desmond Ritter is going to start but uh, Taylor Heineke would be his backup. However, however, he could also they could have they could have also signed Taylor Heineke to as competition to Desmond Ritter and to push Desmond Ritter. And so I think I do think Desmond Ritter is going to be the start is going to be is going to be the starting quarterback heading into training camp. But Taylor Heineke provides that competition and could push Desmond Ritter. And so that, that's, that's very exciting. Very exciting. And then, and then, next, the Falcons, this happened just a couple hours ago. The Falcons have re signed right tackle Caleb McGarry <coughs> to a three year. Thirty-four and a half million dollar contract. So basically, the Falcons were able to bring him back less for less of what they were they would have had to pay him on the on the franchise tag. And so, the Falcons made the right decision to let Caleb McGarry test the free agent market, and then they were able to bring him back. On a on a much better deal than they would have had than if he would have been franchise tagged. Oh man, let me tell you, Terry Fontenot, Terry Fontenot is absolutely killing this free agency. And the good thing is, well, one, the Falcons, they're they're putting themselves in very good position to draft best player available. 
in the NFL draft. And not only that, the Falcons right now still have plenty of money to make a few moves before the draft. Because, you know, we still need uh, we still need a wide receiver. We still need another corner. And I would like to also uh, sign at, at least one more pass rusher. At least one more pass rusher. And, and thankfully, there are still plenty of pass rushers available right now. And so we'll see what the Falcons do. You know, you know, I I I do think the Falcons will sign some more free agents here soon. When? I don't know. But I'm getting very excited about what the Falcons could do in the NFL draft next month. I mean just I'm telling you. Right now, I'm giving if I had to give a grade to the Falcons of what they've done in free agents so far, I give them a, I give them an A plus like David Slitter. <coughs> like he said in his video this morning, he gave the Falcons an A plus. Well, I'm doing the same thing. Falcons get an A plus for me. I mean, Terry Fontno is just killing it. He is absolutely killing it. And look, this is what the la this is what they're building up to for the last two seasons. This is the off season that Terry Fontno and Arthur Smith have been building up to. You know, because, you know, we were in cap hell the last two years. And it has been a long, it has been a long time since the Falcons had this much money to spend. And boy, boy, what a free agency this has turned, this has turned out to be so far. And we are not done yet. I do think the Falcons will sign a few more free agents before the draft. The question is, who will they sign? I can't wait to find out. Y'all subscribe y'all subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the no, 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 no. let me rephrase that before I end this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Hit that like button and notification bell. Share this video and my channel to your social media outlets. Please support the channel in any way you can. I would very much appreciate it. And I hope everyone has a good night. And I will see you in the next one.